Her name is Sydney and she's a go-kart. Sydney stands for Simulated Impaired Driving Experience. She acts just like any regular go-kart except at some point switches into impaired mode which simulates what it's like to drive under the influence of alcohol or another drug. Students were able to take Sydney for a spin so they could experience firsthand what it's like to drive under the influence. An organizer of the event explains why it's important for students to participate in such a hands-on experience. We hope to um, educate students about uh, the dangers of drinking and driving, how to get home safe, and how to party smart if they choose to drink. Students got in this cart and drove around while an officer nearby held a remote that controlled whether the vehicle was in impaired or normal mode. Once flipped to impaired mode, the go-kart could do any number of things. The brakes could stop working or it could suddenly turn left or right and students had to decide what action to take when they lost control of the cart. One UCF student tells us just how hard it was driving under those conditions. In second lap, uh, it just kind of swerved and I, I lost control at times, almost hit a couple trees and apparently killed a couple of pedestrians. Tymason says he was never planning on drunk driving, but after this event, it's clear to him why no one should ever get behind the wheel after drinking. In Orlando, Alexa Rodriguez, UCF Nightly News.